In this video, I will demonstrate how to solve the exercise creating a cyber world of the course Cyber Security Essentials from Cisco. So, in this exercise, we'll have to configure the FTP server, web, email, DNS, NTP, and AAA server. But before I start, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, hit the like button to like this video, and if you have any questions, write them on the comments. So, let's start doing the exercise. First, we have to configure the FTP server. So, we go to the Metropolis Bank headquarters network. And in this network, we'll find three servers. The FTP web server, email DNS server, and NTP AAA server. We have to click the FTP web server to configure. We go to services and choose FTP here. To activate the service, we press on. And now to allow users to access the FTP server, we have to create the accounts. In the user setup, we have username and password. In the username, we are going to create the account for Bob. So we write Bob and the password will be Cisco. One, two, three. The permissions will be write, read, delete, rename, and list. So all the permissions and press F to add the user. Another user will be Mary with the password Cisco123. All the permissions and F. And the last will be Mike. Mike. Cisco123, all the permissions, and add. So we have now three users with password and permissions. Now we are going to configure the HTTP service. So we choose this service, HTTP, and to activate it, we press on, and also to HTTPS on. Now the HTTP service is on. Let's verify if the HTTP service is working. We close the window. Let's open the PC from Sally. We go to desktop. Press web browser. And we'll write a website like www. Cisco.corp and press go. Nothing happened. But it was supposed to do this because we haven't configured the DNS server. If we try using the IP, so 10.44.1.254 and go, we can open the Cisco Corp page. So accessing the web page via the IP is working, but via the domain name is not working. Now let's configure the DNS server. We open the DNS server. This is one email slash DNS. Open the services. Choose DNS. There is DNS here. And to activate the service, choose ON. Now we have to add the resource records. We have to create an A record. So the name will be email.cisco.corp. And the address will be 10.44.1.253. And add. This is for the email server. We are going to create a second one for the web. So will be www.cisco.corp. Also an A record. The address will be 10.44.1.254 and head. Now we have two records, one for the email server with this IP, another for the web 
with this IP. Let's verify if the DNS now is working. Close the window, go back to Sally's PC, open the web browser, and let's try www.cisco.corp. Press go. Now we can see the web page using the domain name. If we try to see the traffic, let's push this and press go. When I open the page, we can see the triangles, the green triangles lighting up like this. So the communication is going from the cell is PC to the switch, the other switch to the DNS server and locating the web server. So the communication is working. Now let's configure email server. We go to email server and choose the service email and we'll activate the SMP service turning on and the POP3 service turning on. The domain name will be cisco.corp and press set and now we are going to create some user accounts for the email like for Phil the password will be cisco123 and press the plus to add the account for Sally add for Bob also the same password Dave uh, Mary Tim and Mike. In the real world, you should not create passwords so simple. It should be complicated and never the same to other users. We can check the passwords and username by selecting the name. Now, with the accounts created, let's configure the email clients in the PCs. So let's open the cell is PC. Let's choose email. And let's configure the email. The name will be Sally. The email address Sally at Cisco.corp. The incoming email is email.cisco.corp. And the outgoing mail server also email.cisco.corp the username is Sally and the password Cisco123 and save now we are going to configure for the Bob open the PC from Bob go to desktop email and configure with Bob's information so name Bob email address Bob at cisco.corp incoming mail server and outgoing mail server the same username bob and the password cisco123 and save now we have to configure the NTP server so the network time protocol is a networking protocol for clock synchronization between computers and servers on a network. We open the NTP slash AAA server. We go to services and choose the service NTP. To activate, select on and the server is activated. But to secure the NTP service, we have to click enable the authentication. We'll select the key one and the password will be Cisco123. Now is activated and secure. In the server, we also have to configure the AAA service. So select the AAA and to activate it, select on on the service. To configure this service in the network configuration, in the client name, we are going to write HQ router 
the client IP will be 10.44.1.1. The secret will be Cisco123. The server type, we leave it like this and press add. Now we have a client for the service. Also, on the user setup, we have to add a user. So, the username, we write admin and the password will be cisco123 and press add. Now we have a user to access this service. And the laboratory exercise is completed. Everything we had to do is done. But let's try some connections. Let's try to send an email from Sally to Bob. So we press the Sally's computer. We go to email. You press compose. And two will be Bob at cisco.corp. The subject will be hello. Just to say hello. And we press send. On the bottom we can see all the information sent to Bob with the subject to this server, this IP and the email will send with success. Let's close this client and open the client on Bob's computer. Let's choose email and press receive. On the receive we have an email from Sally saying hello and this is the email received with success. So the email server is working fine, the configuration on Sally's and Bob's computer is fine, so the communication on the network is working. The email go from Sally to the server to Bob's. So everything was done correctly. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel to see more exercises and demonstration about Cisco courses. Hit the like button on this video and leave a comment if you have any question about this course or about what we've done on Packet Tracer. And I will see you on the next video.